Seeing none, I'm going to close this citizens' night proportion of the meeting. And before I turn over to uh, and get into the work session, I do have a couple of comments I'm going to make in regards to the library tax. I'm not. I'm here to just tell. Before I even say anything else, I'm here to tell you I do support the library vehemently. My children used it. They no longer are children no more. They're grown adults. And, but we certainly do think it is an asset to the community. But there's some things I do want to make sure, and there was a lot of misinformation put out there, and I will do my very best to make sure, and some of you already stated some of that. Number one, the library is fully funded. When they talked about the electric, and Lisa did, uh, if there's any life safety issues, it will be addressed immediately by this council, or I should say our administration would make sure it would be proper, appropriately taken care of. Make no mistake, that is a 50-year-old building, and I'm sure there are things that do need repair, but if there's anything that's a life safety issue, it will be addressed immediately and if it's not we as this council will ask this administration why not second thing they put out that there are 14,000 plus members I would like to see how many of those are actually Monroeville residents and I'm only re repeating some of the things Jim will back me up. I've talked at the Senior Center. You guys have given me a lot of these questions, and they've asked me to address this publicly, and I will do that, plus many other residents as well. Bob and some of the other folks talk about the business community. I talk with many members of our business community. They're quite worried about the one mil increase. For those of you know, or maybe you don't know, you know, we have a business privilege and mercantile tax. They pay a great proportion of our municipal budget, our business community. They're saying to me as mayor, and I'm, and again, they've asked me to address it to you. I try to get some of the chamber members to come. They, today was just not a good day for them. But they're just saying to me that their bottom line is going to be hurt and some may have to leave if this passes. It's a very true story on Esta Esta. I know Michael very well and I'll say his name because he's my friend. He is hanging on by threads and he's not alone. I've talked to others that did not, I don't know as well as I do Mike. There is no way, I don't think anybody on this council and certainly I as mayor would ever let that library go away. That will never happen. I don't believe any future councils would do it either. Have they been asked to reduce some of their cost? Just like the police department, public works, administration, it is what it is. The revenue has not been, our income if you will, has not been, it is, uh, has been in the past. Believe it or not, things are getting a little bit better in Monroeville. We do have businesses moving in. We have some applications that are coming in. I don't want this tax, and I'm not going to tell you how to vote. This is something you as residents have to decide yourself. But the business community is saying to me, you're going to probably most likely chase away some of the new business. We just had a largest tax increase. I don't believe anybody up here was happy about it. I know many seniors are not happy about it. I'm not happy about it either. Who the hell wants to pay more taxes? I know I don't. But you all made it perfectly clear you like all your services from your dispatch center to your fire, your police, your EMS, your public works. We really do have the best garbage pickup probably in the area. If you miss your garbage, you just call them. They'll come back and get it. Can, they don't even have to be your day. We have good services, and you made that perfectly clear. Well, guess what? I'd love to say we can give it to you for free, but it's, it doesn't happen that way. And I made a promise 
I don't know if I said it here or in the paper, but I'm going to work with this council to see if there's any way we can reduce that 1.579 mills going into 15. I do not know if we can do that, but I think it's a goal that we need to work with. And I'll ask my colleagues on council to work with me on that with the administration. One of the other things it says on here, I'm reading in the paper, it said because if they give that money back, it's only a 0 0.6 mil increase. It's still an increase. Everything that was brought up, and again, I have to do what my seniors asked me to do. The things that they need doesn't even get close. Everything that Lisa mentioned didn't even get close to 900000 or a million dollars. What happens to that extra money that would be in 15? And every year after that. One of the other rumors out there is that they want to take all what's on the first floor, move it up to the, I mean the second floor, move it, uh, the first floor, move it up to the second floor and make the first floor a community center. That's a library last time I checked. Certainly there's room for people to meet. But you know what? If you get on our schedule, if you have a club or whatever, I am sure you could work that out if there's this, this facility is open. This is your facility. And then I'm hearing uh, uh, Bob brought up uh, in regards they want to redo the whole building. That's a 50-year-old building. I've heard they want to make it green, if you will. Who doesn't want a green building? I work in construction. I work for a developer. Okay? To, th to try to make a 50-year-old building green, you're throwing very good money away. That you, that literally, it would be cheaper for you to take the entire building down and start over. To put money, all kind of money, into a 50-year-old building to try to make it green is crazy. But that's what I'm hearing they want to do. So you as taxpayers need to decide which way you want to go on this. I am not going to tell you what to do, but I can tell you this library is fully funded. And if they have any issue that is truly, truly a life safety issue of electric, be it the, the gas or the air conditioner, anything that roof, it will be addressed. And it will be addressed very quickly. You decide on May 20th. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to, uh, oh, you need a five-minute